So today's video is how to make some DIY workout tops and I'm going to show you how to make three different styles like you can see here. So what you'll need are some t-shirts, some old ones or some new ones you want to cut up for this, a cutting mat or something to protect your table, scissors, a needle and thread and some pins. So this is the first style I'm going to show you how to make. It's got a plaited racer back as you can see. So what you're going to do is start out with your t-shirt on the table and then you're going to cut the sleeves off from the side of the neck and then down to just under the bottom of where the sleeve is. And then flip it over and use a piece you just cut off as a guide so you're cutting the exact same shape and amount off the other side. And then just discard those pieces when you're done. Then you're going to flip the t-shirt over and cut along the neck band at the back. Cutting as close as possible as you can. And then just go and cut the label off in the neck if there is one, just so that's not peeking out and showing when you wear it. Now you're going to cut just a little bit more of the excess fabric in from the sides on the back of this t-shirt, so to create sort of more of a racer back shape. Now we're going to cut two lines down either side of the middle of this section you've got on the back because this is going to be creating the three strands for plaiting. So you're going to cut down sort of to the bottom of where you want the armholes to be there. And then just stretch those pieces out a little bit just because it's going to make them a little bit easier to plait. And now take your strands and start plaiting them just like you would with anything else like hair or if you're making a bracelet. Then once you've plaited those all the way to the end, pin the sections together. And then you're gonna pin the end of the plait to the neckband and just sew that in place. So you're just going to need a few stitches here just to make sure everything's nice and secure because it's on the inside of the neckband and no one's going to see it. You don't really have to be too neat with things here. Just chop off any remaining threads and any bits at the end of the plait that are going to stick out and discard those. And there you go, one finished plaited back workout tank. Next up is this cropped tank with a tie front and a gathered back. So we're going to start here is cutting off the bottom of the t-shirt to the length you want it cropped to and cutting through both layers to begin with almost all the way through but then leaving a section in the middle now on the front layer cut up from where you stopped 
to the bottom so you're kind of creating this section that hangs down at the front and then cut up the middle of that to just a little bit higher than the cuts you've made at the side and just fold those out of the way and then on the back just cut all the way along to cut off the bottom section. And just put that section to the side for now. Now we're going to cut off the sleeves again. Just using a pin there to mark the bottom of where I want to cut to just because it's easier in this case than laying the cut off sleeve on top of the other one. I'm just going to take a little bit more off the back there of the armhole. Just to make it easier to gather in afterwards. And because this is going to be gathered in I'm not really being as precise here. Okay, now take the bit of fabric you cut off before and you're just going to need a little part here, so cut a little bit off the end. I'm going to fold this into a tube then on the back of your t-shirt you're going to gather in neatly the fabric together into a racer back and wrap the tube of fabric around it. This is a little bit too long so I'm just going to cut off the excess there. Overlap the ends there and then pin them so it's easier to sew. Then I'm just going to sew this together. Now you should really use a matching thread but I was just being a bit lazy so I've got a white one here. Now remember to only um, sew the ends of the tube together. Do not sew them through the fabric of the t-shirt and the racer backs because you're going to want to swivel this round so the stitching's inside the t-shirt once you've finished. And that's the back done. Flip it back over to the front and you're just going to tie these sections at the front just in a normal double knot and there we go, this one is completed So this is the third and final DIY, probably the most complex but still not too difficult. To start with we're going to cut the sleeves off from the side of the neck like in the first t-shirt DIY um, and you can cut the armholes really deep like this if you want or they don't have to be quite as far down. Now turning the t-shirt over, you're going to cut around the neckband again to separate it from the back of the t-shirt. And just fold that out of the way. Then we're going to cut the back of the neckband off from where the shoulders are. Now on the back of the t-shirt I'm going to cut some more off just to make this a more exaggerated racer back shape. But the shape you cut it is up to you, as long as it's kind of along the same lines as this it'll work. 
Now I'm just going to fold over the top section there of the back part and pin it down so you're creating a little tube kind of tunnel at the top and I'm going to sew this just quite quickly with a running stitch you could use a sewing machine if you wanted but also you can do this all by hand Move that out of the way for a second and get back part of the t shirt we've already cut off. I'm just going to cut a thin strip here. And then cut off one end. So you've made a long strip of your t shirt fabric. And then just pull this to make it into more of a string. Now we're going to feed it through the tunnel we've made at the top of the back of the t-shirt. To make this easier, I'm tying it onto a paper clip because um, it makes it a lot easier to push through. So you just kind of gather up the material, push the paper clip through, and then keep pulling out the slack. And that'll bring your little tube through with you. And this is a little bit too long at the moment, so what I'm going to do now is cut off some of the excess that we don't need. Then the ends of these strings are going to get sewn onto the ends of the neckband you've got there at the front, so just wrap the edges of the neckband around the string, pin, and then stitch those on. Make sure it's nice and secure because you don't want your t-shirt falling off when you're wearing it. And there you have it, that is your completed workout tank there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you try any of these and I'll see you soon, bye!